Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Socialite and businesswoman Zara the Boss Lady took to share a post castigating people who felt entitled to enjoy the wealth of people close to them. Now, Zara the Boss Lady, just a quick back history, is somebody who has been castigated more often that she does not help her siblings. There are netizens who feel that the kind of wealth that Zara the Boss Lady enjoys joys or rather her status should match that of her siblings there have been times where some of her siblings have been made fun of or mocked on social media just because they are sisters to Zara the Boss Lady. And when Zara the Boss Lady has visited her Ugandan home, specifically at her father's home, there have been a few things said here and there that they expect her dad to live like a star as well. But what we have seen through all these things that have been said, Zara the Boss Lady and her family are very close-knit. You can see the relationship that she shares with her siblings. They are very close. They do love each other. You can see them supporting each other. That also includes her sister who is in South Africa with her, who lives pretty much a private life, but also very supportive towards her sister Zara the Boss Lady and vice versa as we see when her sister has an event, Zara the Boss Lady is there, her children are visiting her home. And so the relationship that you get to see of Zara the Boss Lady and her siblings seem to be a very healthy sibling relationship, including her brothers as well, who we have seen at her home. During these events, all happy together, and also Zara the Boss Lady put out that also friends are not entitled to your wealth. Now, of course, Zara the Boss Lady friends who we have seen are people who have their own names. Somebody is like Zodwa, she is a business owner. As other friends that she has introduced to the public are people who have their own lives going on and they're doing pretty much well. Anyway, so Zara the Boss Lady had shared, I starved around people who have money. I never got mad at them. Even once I got motivated because I knew their money wasn't mine. Heal from entitlement your successful friends and relatives owe you nothing. Now, this was a post that was resonating with so many people, so many people who have been castigated perhaps by their families, their friends. But once you make it big out there, there is an expectation that you need to take care of these people, perhaps if it's your family or friends, people perhaps who did not have even any contact with you just because you are doing better. Some are even lazy and not working, but feel entitled to that money that you have worked hard for. So that the boss lady is putting out a statement that do not feel entitled. Your successful friends or relatives do not owe you anything and if they want to help you, they are doing it out of their own hearts. Now this sentiment actually come years after she and her relatives of her late ex-husband Ivan battled it out for the tycoon's properties he had passed on in May 2017 and his family reportedly allegedly as well were against Zari inheriting his property because they were divorced. Zari at that time was dating Diamond Platinums. She had her family with him. And actually, Zari the Boss Lady came out and clapped back at her critics who felt that she wanted what Ivan owned, forgetting that they had built whatever they had together from scratch and she put out get your facts right we hustled all the way up go get yourself some inheritance too it should be easy right when they say inheritance i say we started from the bottom you all know us after 2020 and not before Larry had also added that her late ex-husband ivan who was based in south africa at the time of his death had hustled together from the ground up to acquire all the property that they had and of course eventually it was very made clear by Zara the Boss Lady as well that these properties were not left to her. In fact, everything that they had worked for were for the kids. And what we have seen is her managing all of that. 
The kids are still going to good schools. Their lifestyle has been maintained. She has furthermore invested on these children, got apartments for her sons, and she had even put out that even if you are left a huge part of inheritance and you are not a smart woman, you will use all that money. Within a year, it's all gone. So what we have seen from Zari the Boss Lady is how to multiply the money that has been left, how to invest, and how to continually give the children the same kind kind of life that they had even before their father had passed away. Now I think this topic of being used is something that Zara the Boss Lady constantly holds in her heart and she also has experience from it because it's not the first time that she has hinted about people feeling entitled and in fact in 2020 she had revealed that she ended being used by family, friends, who always came after her money but ran from her when she was low and shattered. She had shared, let me tell you something you do not know about me. I'm that friend everyone can always run to financially, emotionally, shoulder to cry on, you name it. I'm always here for my people. But damn, the shit of playing Mother Teresa is so done. They all can run to me, but when I need them, I can never see any, and I mean any of them. So 2020 mm -hmm. is all about me. The mother of five continued to say, it's not being selfish now. Nah. It's doing what's best for me, Zari, my soul and my well-being. I can't keep breaking my back and sharing bread with people who ain't helping mix the dough. Whether it's family, friends, business associates, you name it, I'm done. And so that is Zari the Boss Lady's stand two years ago and to date she still stands by those words that people should not feel entitled and also her being part of that category of people who have been used she chose herself in 2020 and it seems right now in 2022 as we are ending the year she still stands by those words and her thoughts have not changed whatsoever now i don't know guys if you have experience or do you agree with what Zara the boss lady has said of course people who are huge beneficiaries or people who demand from their families or friends or uh, associate more from them especially when it comes to provision they might feel some type of way with such statements and they might say that these people are arrogant just because they have made it in life these people are very selfish so beneficiaries might accept the statement with no judgment but some might be angry by it and if you have expressed this you might let us know on the comment section down below or even your thoughts on what Zara the Boss Lady has shared as you all know Zara is a woman of means she earns money from her South African colleges television shows event appearance and being a brand ambassador for for many products her instagram account is a testament to how she and her children lead lavish lifestyles unapologetically and here is where some netizens plus maybe her family or friends or people who have been associated with her feel very strongly that they need also to benefit from zari the boss lady through association of knowing her perhaps being family members with her and expect to live good lives just like zari the boss lady well that's it for today thanks so much for Watching, please subscribe if you haven't also turn on your post notifications so you're notified once new uploads are up and i'll see you on the next one bye bye, bye.